guys, how's it going? And welcome to another vlog. And today we're at Pet HQ, and it's all about the Audi RS6 today. There it is. Woo! The Audi RS6 is in for a special little makeover. We're just gonna send that down the lift um, and we'll catch up with it very soon downstairs. But before we do, let me just quickly brief you on it. So, um, the car's uh, been dropped off by a customer. It's not my car, it is a customer car. Um, and it's over for a pet design makeover. Now, I don't know if you, if you guys follow me on social media, you'll know that um, uh, this is a, well, I launched a company called Pet Design where we do a little bit of car customization here in, oh, check that out. <laughs> here in the, um, in Birmingham. Um, and obviously we, we can't get all nationwide. We've only just started up, so we've done about a good six or seven cars, a few hurricanes and stuff like that. I'll drop some pictures towards the end about them, but the most recent project that I've got on board now is this blue RS6. Um, the customer's just finished uh, selecting the colors for it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to giving it its transformation. But what I actually want to do as well whilst I've got the car is to give you a little insight into the car and what it is like to live with and yeah, that sort of stuff. It is a pretty cool car. I've driven it like uh, for about 10, 15 minutes the other day and it feels extremely solid, very, very quick as well. Uh, but this very car as well is also having some performance uh, mods as well done to it by MSL Performance. We're going to head on over there in a bit as well and let the guys from there tell you exactly what's going to be happening with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, less of me. Let's get downstairs to the car. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Audi RS6. It's got a 4-litre V8 bi-turbo that produces around 500 and 70 brake horsepower. It's got an eight-speed Tiptronic gearbox for some smooth shifts. I'm gonna show you around it very, very briefly. Check this out, it's got all carbon inside. Very, very nice. I've always been a fan of these and to get my hands on it, it is an absolute dream. Very, very fast as well. A proper solid car. finished in blue at the moment but it's in for a pet design makeover with a lots of mods uh, we're going up for some engine upgrades and um, a few cosmetics shall we say well I'll keep you informed on that the customers just left now and we have picked uh, a purple but uh, it's, a, uh, it's a very classy little purple with some gloss black detailing and some ADV one wheels Lovely. What we should do now is head over to MSL so they can tell us more about what they're going to be doing in terms of power upgrades and then, um, yeah, that's about it. Isn't that a sweet car though? So here we are now in the RS6. Um, it's, an, it's an amazing cabin. Um, love it. Again, German Audi. Everything is built right. Everything feels solid. We've got lots of carbon fiber as well, which is fantastic. But what I love about this one is, you know, I've been through black leathers, I've been through um, um, red leathers and stuff like that, but it feels really nice to be in this kind of light cream silvery leather. Um, and it will really complement the, um, the color that we're gonna be transforming this. Um, I'm really looking forward um, to, be, um, to be taking this car on board for another pet design project. Um, yeah, just really excited about it. Um, in terms of drive, um, again, the car feels solid, accelerates very, very smoothly, effortlessly, got bundles of power. Um, and I just, I'm just, I don't even know if it needs more power, but the customer wants it and the customer shall get it. Oh dear. Wow. I mean, we reviewed the RS7. It's very similar to the RS7 in, in some ways, uh, but it, you know, it's uh, at the same time it is a little bit it is a little bit different. It has it's you know you can tell that you're you know if you're in an RS6, it's got a it's got I don't know I, how can I describe it? Goodness me, I'm a crap car reviewer, aren't I? <laughs> um, how can I describe it? It's um, it does things a bit more seriously. You know? Wow. Exhaust note. I mean, the one that we actually reviewed on the. Uh, the, the RS7 that we reviewed had um, had an acropovic exhaust system on it. Um, this one has got the standard exhaust system on it, uh, factory from um, Audi, which is not too bad. It does pop and crackle at the right times, but I suppose it could be a little bit louder. 
Maybe I'll get a chance to review this um, once the car has been completed with the new wheels and the exhaust system and, and everything. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll follow this car up right now, heading over to MSL, um, and I'll be able to give you a few blips from um, outside of the car. Let's go. The steering is so responsive, like wherever I direct it, it just points there perfectly. Um, obviously we've got um, the Quattro, so handling is a dream sticks to the road like glue. I'll give you a few blips of the exhaust. Let's go. As you just heard there, it's got a, uh, a semi-reserved note. It's got a very bassy, powerful grunt to it. So yeah, comment below if you think that the customer should actually put a uh, exhaust system on it. If it is, it's more than likely probably going to be like an Acropovic or something like that. Um, but yeah, comment below if you think it does need uh, an exhaust on it. So I'm about to jump in now and uh, give it some uh, give it some hoof. There it was. Got you a few uh, 0 to 60 little accelerations here. Obviously, like I said, we'll catch up more on it soon. Maybe take it onto a track or something like that. we have it the Audi RS6 we've had a little brief introduction to it I haven't been living with it long enough to tell you an in-depth review we'll maybe do that some other time but uh, yeah whilst I've had it looking at it aesthetically very pleasing I mean if Audi did a saloon version in it I would be all over it like a rash but uh it looks pretty cool in its uh, in its estate version as well. Um, the exhaust, it doesn't sound too bad. It's got a, a bassy kind of note to it. It sounds like it's got a lot of power, but maybe if the customer wants, he can have it a little bit louder, maybe stick an Acropovic on like my friend's RS7 that we uh, reviewed not so long ago as well. Um, but yeah, comment below if you think that it needs an exhaust upgrade um, for more noise. I think it's okay, but um, I mean, it would be nice to have some more noise. Um, it's got a lot of power, a lot, a lot of power. It just accelerates effortlessly. Really enjoyed it. I want to say a big thank you to the owner for actually allowing me to share this experience with you guys, sharing the little, um, the drive that we've just had as well. It's okay, he's a family friend anyway, so I kind of semi-bullied him into doing that. Um, but yeah, it looks great. I can't wait for its pet design transformation. We're gonna head over back to Pet HQ now and uh, tuck this away for bed because tomorrow its transformation starts and I can't wait to show you the end product. So guys, so we're now back at Pet HQ, the car sitting very, very pretty. It is something that is definitely growing on me. Didn't really take much notice towards it. It's transformation starts tomorrow, so that's it from us today. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like. I'll leave all the links below for Pet Design um, in the descriptions below, so do give them a follow on Instagram and that sort of stuff. Need any vinyl wrapping, any customization, that sort of stuff, holla. Uh, but yeah, that's it from now. Make sure you subscribe, share, like, and I'll catch you soon for another video. Take it easy, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.